In the long slender tube are six different liquids of differing densities. The one at the bottom has the highest density and the one at the top has the lowest density. Remember density is the amount of matter in a given space. So the more matter there is in a given space, the higher density it is. So at the bottom you can see 1.42 is the highest density and then the densities decrease as you go up the column of liquids. Okay, let's take a look at what these liquids are. The highest density liquid at the bottom is honey. And then we have corn syrup. Moving on up, we next have Dawn detergent, liquid soap. Moving up, we also have uh, water. Water has been uh, colored with some food coloring. Above water, less dense than water is vegetable oil. And then the least dense liquid at the top is isopropyl alcohol. A rubber stopper is being placed into the liquids and it is more dense than the liquids it sinks through. And so you can see it's more dense than isopropyl alcohol, the oil, the water, it's going through the Dawn detergent. And now it's in the syrup, the corn syrup. And you can see it's slowly going through the corn syrup. So it might be a little bit more dense than the corn syrup. Let's see what happens when we place an Alka-Seltzer tablet into the liquids. Alka-Seltzer tablet is more dense than the isopropyl alcohol, the oil, and the water, and therefore it sinks in them. But notice once it gets to the bottom of the water, it goes straight back up to the top. Well, what's going on here? Well, the Alka-Seltzer tablet, the chemicals that are in that tablet, react with the water to produce carbon dioxide gas. And carbon dioxide gas has more space between the matter than the liquids do. So that gas is less dense than all the liquids. So the tablet with the carbon dioxide gas bubbles on the surface becomes less dense, becomes more buoyant, and it rises to the top. Well at the top what happens is that carbon dioxide gas gets released into the atmosphere, into the air. And so those carbon dioxide gas bubbles escape off the surface of the tablet and the tablet again, once again, becomes more dense than the three liquids at the top. And so it keeps going up and down, up and down, until all the material of the Alka-Seltzer tablet has finished reacting, and all we have left is carbon dioxide gas.